U.S. and Australian ships conduct drills in South China Sea as China warns Taiwan to prepare for war. A U.S. Navy-guided missile destroyer joined an Australian Navy frigate for exercises this week in the South China Sea, the U.S. Navy announced on Friday. The USS Curtis Wilbur and the HMAS Ballarat spent a week of cooperative operations with maneuvering drills and a replenishment at sea with USNS Big Horn, a U.S. Navy statement said, in the contested area bordered by China, Taiwan, the Philippines and Vietnam. The two ships conducted cross-deck helicopter operations, live-fire gunnery exercises and joint maritime operations. The sea is the passageway for the majority of China's energy imports, and much of its total trade. Disputes in the area involve sovereignty of the islands, reefs, banks and other features of the South China Sea, with China's claims on the area leading to what observers have noticed as an increased military presence there. This exercise builds on the strong and enduring mateships that exist between the RAN, Royal Australian Navy, and U.S. Navy, commented CMDR, Anthony Pisani, HMAS Ballarat commander, at the conclusion of the six-day exercise. It also shows that together we are committed to a secure and stable maritime environment, and promotes the importance of Navy-to-Navy -Navy relationships across the region, Pisani said. The USS Curtis Wilbur is assigned to the U.S. Navy's 7th Fleet and conducts operations throughout the Indo-Pacific region. The HMAS Ballarat arrived in the South China Sea after completing training with the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force ship Murasama during the first week of June. The two ships met near the coast of Japan for one day, conducting various maritime maneuvers, the Australian Defense Department said. Chilling Chinese propaganda circulating on Weibo warns Taiwan to prepare for war. China has issued a chilling warning to Taiwan telling the island nation to prepare for war, amid mounting fears of an international open conflict. Propaganda is circulating on Chinese social media platforms Weibo and WeChat. It is reinforced by articles addressed to splitists, a term believed to refer to those in favor of separating areas the Asian superpower asserts authority over. The messages serve as a hair-raising insight into Beijing's well-known stance on Taiwan, over which it claims sovereignty. These were published the information arm of the People's Liberation Army's PLA, 80th Group Army. A propaganda poster, depicting military rockets being fired beside the words, prepare for war, has been produced by the political work department. According to the articles, troops in the 80th Group Army, which is deployed in China's Shandong province, vowed to obey all commands and fear no challenges. The soldiers also promised to fight for dignity without fear of death, according to the campaign material. The propaganda drive also included a music video featuring videos of tanks, soldiers and rocket explosions. It was produced by Voice of the Strait. This is a collection of five PLA radio stations based in Fuzhou, Fujian province. Notably, they are broadcast especially for listeners in Taiwan. China sees Taiwan as a breakaway province and has threatened to create a conflict in order to unify it with their mainland. Last month, Taiwan's foreign minister also said China is preparing for war, as the island country prepared for a potential clash. Joseph Wu said Beijing has been trying to cut off Taiwan from the world with military moves and international pressure. Mr. Wu was asked what he believes China's goals are in the wake of increased military drills and aggression. The minister said, I think Beijing has been preparing for war against Taiwan, and that is what we have been seeing. They are preparing for it. If you look at the number of sorties, attacks from troops, it's around 2,900 times last year. So, the threat has been increasing. And when we examine in a closer way, the Chinese sometimes even cross the middle line of the Taiwan Strait, 